So anti-rotation breathing using a trunk loaded setup means we're going to be either using a strap or kind of a double band setup in order to wrap it around our torso. And the way this differs from something like a supine paloff press is that we are no longer incorporating the arms, obviously, at least not to the same degree. And by virtue of wrapping the band around our torso the way we are, it's also going to give us more feedback proprioceptively as far as feeling where the ribs are in space, how they're expanding and contracting with breath, and then we'll obviously just get a generally different um, anti-rotation stimulus with a band setup like this rather than doing a paloff press. Now to set up, it's very simple. I'm focusing on my left side being pulled up off the ground with the strap as it's wrapped around. So in order to set up, what you want to do is have an anchor point relatively low, probably knee height or lower. I have a strap plus a band here. You can also do a double band setup like I mentioned earlier. From there, you want to wrap the strap or band around your shoulder like a backpack so it's pulling from behind. Do a 360 to the other direction and then lay down like you saw me doing earlier. From there, adjust the band so that your shoulders and pelvis are flush to the floor and then you're just going to go through your breathing drills. In order to make this more challenging, you can adjust the foot position, you can adjust how much pressure you're putting into the floor with each foot to support yourself, and you can also play with scooting further or closer to the point of origin with the resistance. Breathing protocols otherwise apply, nasal breathing, prolonged exhale, and keep centered.